So, in this lecture we are going to learn about how we can write our own program and then the same program can be executed in our machine. So, today we will discuss about the different steps of programming in Java in a very simple way. So, if you do not have any idea absolutely it is not a difficult job you will be able to follow it. Now, let us see how we can write our first Java program. Now, before going to write first Java program I just tell about how we usually write a program for example, in C. So, if you know C programming then it is good that you will be able to follow it. So, in the here is basically the idea it is given here how a C programming will look like that. So, it has basically some pre processing statement write say <coughs> uh, include. So, here is basically the include and then it basically the main. So, main function as you know the Java program uh, the C programming is basically a function oriented programming. So, there should be one function is called the main function. So, this basically the program written in the C programming and the ok you can see that this program will basically uh, if you run it then it will print a message called hello world. Now, let us see how the same right task can be executed by writing a Java program. Now, a Java pro program will typically look like this. Now, you can see the difference between the two programs one program is in C and another is in Java. So, here so here it is include in C, but here it is import in Java and here you write the main here also we write the main like this, but with a peculiar the deep syntax the peculiar syntax is like this public static void which is not required there only int or some void can be there in C. So, here is the special things we will learn about what is the meaning of these things is required in Java. Then this is basically here uh, then here the print statement is there right how the print is uh, message here in Java to do the same thing we need this kind of syntax system dot out dot print ln and then within this double quote the message that needs to be print. So, essentially the two program will do the same thing, but they are written in a different syntax the different uh, pro language construct. So, this is the idea about that and this is your first program and one more thing that I should mention here is that uh, in Java as it is an object oriented programming. So, we have to develop an object and object is basically developed by means of defining a class. So, here this is the name of the class that basically will be used to I mean run this program as an object. So, the name of the class here is called hello world app this is the name you can give a 1 a 2 like this one also, but there are few things that you have to follow it before giving the particular name and whatever it is. Now, so we have learned about how we can run a program in Java to print a message and this is a typical look of this program. You may be little bit uh, uh, find it difficult. So, that what are the different syntax and everything, but as the time pass and then you will discuss many things. So, all these things will be easy for you and then you will be able to accustom to this concept. So, you should not be worried for that. Okay. Now, after running this okay, and another important thing is that as uh, a case sensitive both the programming language uh, as you know or if you know already C programming then you know that C is a case sensitive and Java is also a case sensitive. Case sensitive means for example, here the system is spelled it like this. So, the first character is capital S and it matters. So, if you write this program with system as a small letters all characters in small capital letter, small letters then then it is not the same thing as it should be. And here for example, the name of the class is hello world and you see the sum is character uh, capital letters sum is small letters this means that they are distinguishable. So, if you write all in small letters this means that it defines a new class 
and like this. So, these are basically the case, case sensitive and uh, Java is a, a case sensitive uh, programming language then while you typing the program then you should consider about whether they have the right letters have been chosen or not. Now, here again there are a few more differences about the C programming versus Java programming and regarding the paradigms that we use by this paradigm the two programming languages are totally different and also C programming is not the platform independent whereas, Java programming is the platform independent and few things you can note it from this uh, table that many things which support C programming, but does not support Java programming. This may be a little bit surprising, but is not a surprise actually Java developer, developer wants to make the programming as simple as possible as easy for the programmer is it possible. So, that is why the many critical and then complex issues which basically leads to a lot of pro errors has been uh, carefully uh, ignored in Java programming setting. So, that is why there are many things which are not uh, supported by Java programming programmer and in addition to this there are few things also which is not possible in function oriented programming like C, but it is possible in Java programming. For example, inheritance one concept we have discussed in the last lectures, it is basically not possible in C, whereas it is possible in Java. Pointer is one great deal of errors and then is learning cap capabilities actually. So, it usually very difficult to cope with this concept. So, Java developer has ignored this, there, that means there is no business of pointer in Java programming few things is very, very much essential. So, for the distributed uh, programming and then internet applications they are called the multi threading and interfaces those things are there and to make the robust and most reliable programming the Java introduced the concept which is new of its kind in fact, is called the exception handling which is not there in C programming language, but it is readily available in Java programming and database connectivity usually C does not support database connectivity, but with Java we will be able to connect the database all these are the basically facilities over the C programming and that is we can enjoy from the Java programming environment. Now, okay, so we have discussed about fast program that we can write in Java programming we have a idea about it. Now, let us see how we can type this program what settings should we, we should have to do that. Now, you can use any editor there is a text editor like say notepad or ms word or edit command in unix whatever it is there. In unix there are some other editor is also there like vi, emacs and gedit. So, you can use any editor and then type any text like your java program that we have discussed in few slides back hello world app you can write it. So, writing the program using editor is not a big things to discuss and once you write this program you have to save this program. So, you should save this program in a particular directory and that can be used is using ok using any command in unix or any prompt command prompt from the windows. So, that you can make a directory and all the program that you have developed using editor can be saved there. And while you save this program then a particular care ok take, I mean uh, task should be taken into consideration is that naming of the program. Now, name of the program should be same as the name of the class that you have defined. For example, in the ongoing example the name of the class that we have given hello world app. So, the name of the program that means this program should be saved as a hello world app and one more important thing that you should note is that extension. For example, in case of C program the extension should be dot c, whereas in case of java the extension of the program should be dot java. That means, the program in java should be saved as dot java file. So, and then the directory that you can see here after saving you will be able to see this kind of program has been saved in your current working directory. So, once so, this is basically the task of editing that means, how you can type your program using an editor like say gedit or edit or uh, notepad or ms word. Now, I will come to the discussion of how you can compile this program that means, translate this program. As you know 
the java file is basically is a high level program that means program written in a high level language so this program in order to execute it should be translated into a machine level code binary code form now i'll discuss about how this can be execute i mean compiled or translated now for this translation there is a program provided by the java developer and the name of the program or you can say the command uh, is called java c javac it is called the javac uh, is basically short form of java compiler so you can use javac as a command and then type this javac followed by the name of the java file for example javac hello world app dot java so if you run this and if there is no error in your program then java will compile this suck program successfully so this is the command that you can use from your command prompt windows or from your unix terminal the program and once the program is successfully compiled this dot java file will be converted into one file having the same name as the name of the java file earlier but the extension is different the name of the extension of the file with executable code is called dot class so that means hello world app dot java will be translated into a code a file is called hello world app dot class so this is basically the task that the compilation will do for you and then running that means execution so the class file that you have already created you can execute the same file from the same directory if you type the command java from the directory so the class file which is belongs to the directory say your working directory and then from that directory if you run this command uh, like this java then it will run the program and here you see while you run this program you don't have to specify the dot class just simply name of the file without any extension it will run your program and if there is no error during run time also sometimes error is there then this program will produce the output on uh, the screen or it will be stored the output so okay so we learn about how to edit a java program then how to compile it and how to execute the program okay so the concept is pretty simple and it needs a few i mean uh, practice to cope with this so in our one demonstration we will give you enough uh, program so that you can practice of your own now before going to uh, our next discussion i just want to highlight few things about i several times told about that java programming is a platform independent whereas c programming is not what it does mean actually so here the meaning can be understood here for example so this is the program that you have written using any uh, editor notepad like okay and then name of the program is hello all job and this program is translated by a compiler called java c this one then platform independent it does means that the same file that you have developed should be executed in one machine we say windows 32 in another machine we say windows 64 or in another machine say solaris or is a mac os or like that so that means the program which is compiled successfully should be executable in any operating system whether it is windows or it is unix or it is mac os then it is called the platform independent so the that that concept is basically possible here this means that the file that we build by compiling that means dot class file is basically one sort of thing which any machine can understand it okay if it is not platform independent this means that compiler will compile one code which basically only one particular machine can understand it so c compiler is basically the different C compilers are there for the translating the program into the different machines that is why it is totally platform related that means the same machine which basically compile uh, for this machine cannot be executable into another machine maybe high level language program same 
but the ultimate executable thing is basically different. So, that is why the C programming cannot provide us the platform independent concept, but here Java is basically because of the concept of dot class. Now, here again question is that what is the special thing in the dot class? So, that, that idea is basically the concept of dot class is basically one code which basically any machine can understand. That means, this executable code is basically developed targeting a virtual machine. Now, regarding this concept we will discuss in details whenever we will discuss about the platform independent issues in more uh, detail manner. Now, Java is a programming language and mainly it is an object oriented programming language. Like Java there is another object oriented programming language before Java came into the market that time another programming is also very popular. It is called the C plus plus. The programming is basically is an extension of C. C is a function oriented whereas, C plus plus is object oriented, but the two programming language although object oriented programming has radically many different features are there. So, let us quickly see what are the difference the between the two programming environment C or C plus plus and Java. Now, first of all so far the program building and software development is concerned they follow the completely different task the task that that is followed in C, C plus plus is shown here. So, here if you write a program that is you call the program file source file it is and then source file has certain pre processing that means, it will link and with if it is any library and everything. So, they first undergo through pre processing and then finally, pre processed con things will be compiled and then after the compilation it produce the assembly code assembly code is basically the program in mnemonic add sharp like this one. Then the assembler will be there which will basically translate the assembly code into the asse assembler ok using assembler into the machine level. And here this assembler is basically different assemblers are there in the different what is called the architectures. Similarly, the different compiler because the different machine different architecture different operating system follow the different assembly code and then different hardware the microprocessor follow the different machine level code from the same assembly language programming actually. So, the assembler will convert a high level program written in dot, dot c or dot c p p c plus plus and then finally, produce an object file and sometimes this object file may take some help of some libraries or build in program. So, this is the built in program that needs to be linked and finally, the executable file will be created. So, this is the way the conventional C or C plus plus programming works for us that means, from writing from program to executing a program. Now, let us see the same thing how it, it works in Java system Java environment. It is in fact, pretty simple it is not so complex task rather it basically this is the java file program written in java dot java file and then there is a compiler this compiler is same compiler whatever the machine you use absolutely no is not not an issue this compiler will translate into dot class file dot class file in java technology it is called the program not in binary form or not in machine level code rather it is it is in the form of code it is called the byte code. It is look like 100011 like this one machine level code, but its formats its syntax is totally different. So, this is the java byte code java byte code is now ok we can say uh, is executable code. Then in order to run this java byte code we need one interpreter. So, basically uh, this is one it is called the interpreter uh, java in interpreter and java interpreter as you know interpreter basically take one code run it then go to the next run it like this one. So, it is an interpretative mode it is not that compiler the way compiler and then the executable code finally, is produced for this machine and then it will execute. Now, here you can think that 
here in C or C plus plus everything is basically the compilation whereas in case of Java two things are there both interpretation as well as compilation are there. So, it halfway compile the program into byte code and then the next halfway it basically execute the byte code into the corresponding machine. So, here the idea about that this byte code that will be produced is targeting an hypothetical machine irrespective of the architecture it is there and the java interpreter for every architecture there is a corresponding java interpreter. So, this java interpreter know that if this is a byte code then how to work with this and then that way the machine independency is uh, maintained here in case of java environment. So, this is the idea about the execution of the two different programming concepts uh, for example, C, C plus plus and java and apart from this thing there are few more differences are there. So, for the two programming languages both are object oriented programming languages C plus plus and java I will quickly summarize the different concept it is there. So, C plus plus and java both are object oriented programming, but they are uh, target uh, are not necessarily same. Uh, for example, C plus plus usually preferable for developing very large software such as library management system, employee management system, then passenger railway reservation system like this. Whereas, Java can be used to develop all these kind of systems of course, but in addition to this Java is a very special programming language which is suitable for developing particularly communication or internet application related software development. For example, if you want to develop a networking technology to develop many protocols in networking then you should use Java instead of C plus plus for internet programming that means, how the browser work, how the remote desktop can work all these things Java is best suitable. You if you want to develop the web page, the web page is a very common things nowadays uh, many organization they maintain their web pages including many information and then many services. So, web services for example, the bank and everything. So, the web page you can develop and then web browser also that means, it will browse any web page if it is available in internet or www. So, these are the programming that you can do using Java programming better and in C plus plus sometimes they are not possible or infeasible. So, these are the difference the task that the two programming languages is there. Now, I will just feature wise I will tell about how the two programming languages are different. Now, here I have mentioned few important things which are possible in C plus plus and which are not possible in Java and vice versa. Now, so far the encapsulation is concerned we have discussed about that Java is an object oriented programming and encapsulation is a programming features. So, both C plus plus and Java provides the encapsulation and that means, they allow us to develop our class file. Polymorphism if we see both C plus plus and Java provides the polymorphism and binding that means, how the different uh, data can be bind to the different functions or methods there is a concept called the binding and there are two types of binding the static and dynamic uh, both kind of binding is possible in Java as well as in C plus plus. And then inheritance here is big difference between C plus plus and Java. C plus plus supports us both single as well as multiple, multiple is a very complex inheritance mechanism. On the other hand Java does not support multiple inheritance, Java, Java supports only single inheritance. And then operator overloading this is the another important things that means, the different operator for example, the plus, plus can be used for adding two numbers plus can be used for adding two documents like this is a polymorphic concept actually. So, operator overloading is a concept of polymorphism C plus plus allows operator overloading whereas, Java does not allow operator overloading. And then template classes 
this basically C++ allow a template class that means one template means a, a basic class can be developed uh, which basically not uh, suitable for creating an object, but is a template only, but Java does not give any facilities to create a template class. There are few more things like pointer is possible, uh, pointer is uh, not possible in Java whereas, pointer is possible in C++ and interface and packages Java is a very good one features regarding this whereas, in C++ does not have. Now, here we can see many things, many things for example, here in C++ whereas, Java they do not have and few things of course, Java has where the C++ does not have. Now, here obviously, I told you that what is the reason behind this? The reason is that Java we want to develop a user friendly one programming environment. In order to make a user programming a user friendly environment, the Java developer cuttle down many complicated features which basically associated with lot of errors and lot of errors in the program leads to the program which is not a robust program or reliable program. So, eliminating some features which are very complex and, and erroneous. So, we can make a reliable and robust Java programming that is the beauty of this Java programming and, and that, that is why Java become a great uh, programming language is here. And another difference this is obviously, the another basic difference is that C++ again is a object oriented programming, but it is not platform independent. That means, different compiler is required to translate the C++ code into the different programming languages. Whereas, Java is a platform independent programming language, this means that, that so Java code will create a byte code and then byte code will be interpreted in a different programming environment and this way the platform independent. That means, same code can be executed wherever you want to run it but here the different compiler is required to run the run your same program in the different programming environment. So, this is the idea about the two programming languages C++ and Java and the basic difference between the them. Okay, so, we have learned in this lecture the idea about uh, the programming the different steps of uh, programming in Java and how Java programming is uh, different from the C++ or C programming or other function oriented programming concept. Now, so far we have discussed a very simple program which includes only one class. In our example, we have considered one class namely hello all app dot Java, but is it possible that okay, a program can consist of more than one classes? And if it consists more than one classes, whether the same techniques for compiling and executing is there or not, or we have to follow the different concepts. And also, how a browser can execute a Java program, those are the interesting things in Java. So, all these things we will cover in our next lecture. So, thank you very much.